The Bible tells us about God's love. It is a love that is unconditional and everlasting, a love that is the foundation of our faith and our lives. It also tells us about God's design. He created the family as a fundamental unit of society, a place where love, support, and faith are nurtured. He made mums and dads to be the pillars of strength and guidance. He made children to be the joy and future of the family. Families are special to God. They are his way of ensuring that love and faith are passed down through generations. From the beginning, God wanted families to be close. He envisioned them as a source of comfort and support in times of need. He wanted families to love and care for each other deeply, to be there for one another through thick and thin. He knew families would need each other to navigate the challenges of life, to celebrate the joys and to grow in faith together. We see this in the story of Adam and Eve. They were the first family created by God to be together and to support each other. They were the first family and their story teaches us about the importance of family bonds. God gave them children to love, to nurture, and to guide in his ways. He gave them children to guide, to teach them about his love and his commandments. God's plan is for families to stay close, to be united in love and faith. He wants children to love and care for their parents, to honor them and to learn from their wisdom, just like parents love and care for their children, providing them with guidance, support, and unconditional love. The Bible is clear about how we treat our parents. It emphasizes the importance of respecting and valuing them in our lives. One of the Ten Commandments tells us, Honor your father and your mother, Exodus 20:12. This commandment is not just a suggestion, it is a directive from God himself. This is a big deal. God gave us these words to guide us in our daily lives. Honoring our parents is a fundamental principle that shapes our character and our relationships. He wants us to obey them, to listen to their wisdom and guidance. Our parents have lived through experiences that we can learn from, and their advice is invaluable. Ephesians 6, 1-3 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. This scripture reinforces the importance of obedience and respect within the family unit. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. This promise is significant because it shows that God rewards those who follow his commandments so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. By honoring our parents, we are promised a life filled with blessings and longevity. God promises to bless us when we honor our parents. This blessing is not just material, but also spiritual and emotional. He promises a good life filled with joy, peace and fulfillment. When we respect and honor our parents, we create a harmonious and loving environment he promises many years on earth. This longevity is a testament to the strength and stability that comes from a family built on respect and love. Honoring means respecting. It means obeying. It means being kind. It means helping. Honoring your parents doesn't stop when you grow up. It's a lifelong promise. Think about all the things your parents have done for you. They fed you. They clothed you. They kept you safe. They taught you right from wrong. Honoring your parents is a way to say thank you. It's a way to show them you love them. Love in action, caring for mom and dad. As parents get older, they might need help. They might need help with cooking or cleaning. They might need help getting around. They might need help remembering things. Don't wait to be asked. Look for ways to help. Offer to run errands, spend time with them, listen to their stories, even small acts of kindness mean a lot. These acts of kindness show your parents you love them. They show you honor them. A cup of water, a listening ear. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the small acts of kindness that can make a big difference in someone's life. Jesus talked about caring for others. He emphasized the importance of even the simplest gestures. He said even giving a cup of cold water is important. This small act can be a profound expression of love and care. He said, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew 25, 40. This means that every act of kindness, no matter how small, is significant in the eyes of God. When you care for your parents, you care for Jesus. Visit your parents, spend time with them, listen to their stories and share your life with them. Call them on the phone, write them letters. These simple actions can bring immense joy and comfort to their hearts. Let them know you are thinking of them. 
A handwritten letter can be a cherished keepsake, a tangible reminder of your love and care. Let them know you love them. Your love and attention can be the greatest gift you give to your family, creating lasting bonds and cherished memories. Blessings follow obedience. The Bible says children's children are a crown to the aged and parents are the pride of their children. Proverbs 17, 6. When we honor our parents, we bring them joy. We become a blessing in their lives. Remember God's promise. He promises to bless those who honor their parents. He promises a good life. He promises many years on earth. Let's honor our parents. Let's love them. Let's care for them. Let's follow God's word and experience his blessings. Mm -hmm.